it's pretty hot outside today. Let me tell you, summertime is the worst season to live. Did I say worst or worst? Whatever I said, my brain's not functioning right. Is the worst season to be in the van. It's okay when you got mild summer days, 24 degrees, but when you're out here in very humid 30 degree temperatures, this really sucks. So funny story. Last night, because it was so warm outside, I slept with my back doors partially open. So I was gonna fully open it up, but I didn't have my bug screens in the back. So what I did is I opened up one door and I shut it so it clicked one click shut. So it wasn't fully shut. So it was open just a tiny, tiny little bit. And guess what I found? A bat. There was a bat inside of my van door. So I opened up my back doors because I slept with them slightly a bit open last night and we have ourselves a little friend right there. A little bat. Hanging out right in the seam there. Rainer, does uh, Ray Outfitted do uh, pest removal? No. Like, not at all? Uh, depends on what type of pest you're looking to remove. I have a bat. A bat in your van? Yes. This is interesting. I gotta come see this. <laughs> So I slept with my back doors not quite shut last night and it made itself home right up in my door seal. He's cute, he's shivering, he looks a little scared. On the passenger side door. There he is. Oh, hey buddy. Oh, he flew away. Ah, oh, bummer. So that, that counts as Ray Outfitted bat extraction, right? Damn, I don't want to see what that bill is going to be. <laughs> Any more in here? Hey guys, it's a good home for them. They're probably hanging out in here. No, I don't see any more. Yeah. That cute little tiny baby bat was sitting right on my door seal. It must have wedged up himself up underneath there and snuggled up and curled up and slept with us. That's probably the craziest thing I've ever found <laughs> inside of my van. I have found dragonflies, bees, flies, mosquitoes, and whatever else can fly around, moths and other things. But never once have I ever had a bat in my van. That makes me wonder, if I slept with my back doors wide open, was I gonna be in bed going, ah, oh, get a stupid mosquito, and have it be a bat whipping around my van? Um, but the bat was super tiny and he was just sitting there just shivering on my door thing. I don't know. It was so cute. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, so I am actually out of videos. So the day you watch this video is the day it was recorded. I'd pull it up, but my phone's in the van. I don't even know what date it is or I think it's Monday. I think it's Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> So I don't have any videos ahead. I woke up this morning, I'm like, I have nothing to post. What are we gonna do? So we're gonna turn the camera on and uh, we're just gonna hang out for a bit here today. All I'm really doing is digging through my van, going through all of my storage bins, my cupboards, my drawers, just to make sure that everything I have in my van is just the necessities. Because as we move forward with all these projects in my van, I don't want to be heading off to Happy Camper Kits and all of a sudden have a bunch of stuff that I don't need because when we rework the bottom of my storage underneath my bed, we're actually gonna be losing a tiny bit of storage space. Because I'm getting a dry air heater, um, it's gonna be mounted underneath my bed. So that's gonna take up a huge section of the underside of my bed. So yeah, let's, uh, I don't know guys. This might not be very exciting, so I'd be okay if you guys clicked off of it. But we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go, I don't know what we're doing. Let's take a look at this reality. 30 degrees, 31 degrees, 30.9. That is a really, really warm day. 
and there's no wind. Like, it's just stale, dead, <laughs> humid air. <sighs> this makes me super excited for wintertime. Like, I would rather it be like zero degrees Celsius and cold and maybe minus five and some frosty ground and maybe a little bit of snow. I'll take that over this unbearable junk any day. So, while we're just hanging out, because that's all we're doing today is just hanging out. Let me show you guys my solar system app. I know you guys have already seen the video, my little app, but it's pretty cool. Like I'm stoked to see, like we're at 88% battery charge. I know before the sun came out, it was at 80% state of charge. It's cool. Like by the time the sun goes down, we'll be back to 100%. And I don't have a whole lot of stuff running except for my fridge. And currently right now my fridge is pulling, Ah, oh, way to go, Chrome. There's 116 watts being pulled out of my thing right now because my back door has been open. I totally forgot back door is open and the sun was beating on our 12 volt fridge, pretty much making it work harder. So I've shut the doors now. Oh. So I want to draw you guys out kind of what's going on underneath my bed. Okay, so here's the sides of my van. So here's where the cabinets are I have right now on either side. And my bed platform goes to here, right up to the very edge of there. So we're taking out the bed platform this box that's underneath here where I have my drawers that come out in the back now, you see my two drawers. This is now going to be a four foot long drawer. So it will go in four feet deep and this whole drawer will come out as one whole piece out of the back of my van by four feet. So now what's happening here is this is gonna take up a majority of the underside of my bed with storage that can access by the back door. So I have a subwoofer that needs to be put in here that for the new sound system, the subwoofer is gonna be going there. And then we have this big channel back here of empty space. So in here somewhere is where we're gonna be installing my dry air heater and it's gonna be ducted somewhere. It'll be have some air ducts so it'll have the heat can come out in a one or two spots or however we decide to do it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some, so we'll have some space right here in front of this box so I can have inside van access. This is probably not making any, any sense, but on the front here we might put a couple of doors so I can access two chambers here, maybe for like laundry and just quick like dog food. That'd be perfect. Then this big section here that's hard to access, um, we might do some um, cubbies underneath here. So underneath my bed will be some little things I can flip my mattress up and grab some stuff in these sections here that I don't ever need to grab. Like that stuff that'll be in my van for emergencies like my uh, jacks and stuff like that that's in my rooftop bin. We can start tucking in these little hidden areas in here. And um, also on top of the wheel well here we'll probably have some space so we can utilize, because right now this space above my wheel well is useless. Like we haven't used any of it. So with the new bed platform that Andy's putting in, we'll be able to make use of these things by putting some cubby holes and stuff here accessible from underneath my mattress. So this looks like a chaotic mess, but in a nutshell, my sub and my heater is going in this chamber. The front chamber here, right underneath the front of my bed, will be probably laundry and dog food. And then some stuff over here. This won't be a lot of room here, but some space just to throw some excess things. These are my back cubbies that I have access to already from the back doors. And this giant drawer pulls right out the back. <laughs> That's my drawing. See, I'm a good little artist. I should give this to Andy. Think he'd think he'd understand that? <laughs> my current state of storage underneath my bed Normally I would have two bins. So these bins here, I would have two of them side by side. The only two I would ever access are these ones. Anything else that's behind it was just excess storage things that I really don't need to access. 
So the stuff in the back bins are what's going to be in the long pullout shelf that can, I, I can access much easier from the outside than I could before. So if I ever needed to access the four bins back here, this has to come out, then the next one has to come out, then I got to get a wedge way underneath there just to grab the last bin. So now it's going to be great. So it'll be probably two little doors here or sideways here so I can access dog food and laundry and everything else will be accessed from the back of the van, excluding maybe a little cubby underneath here or something just to get access to some things that, holy, look how sweaty I am. <sighs> it's insane. <laughs> um, yeah, so is this making any sense to you guys? Whew. So another thing that I have to do that I never expected, and something you guys didn't know this whole time, not like it really makes a difference, but one second. Ugh. My bed is a twin size bed, so it's about four feet wide by six feet long. And the blankets that I have on here and the duvet covers are a queen size. So what I've done is it comes over the front just as much as it needs to. And then the rest of it before I used to just wedge down the back of the bed. Um, I always had these sheets before, so I always kept them the same size. Um, but yeah, I didn't mind having the extra blankets, didn't make a difference. But now that we are reworking the whole bed storage, I got nowhere to stuff that extra set of blanket material. So I'm going to be dropping these off at a donation place because I don't know what else to do with them. They're just cheap little um, Ikea blankets on the inside anyway. Um, nothing too fancy. So I'm going to be donating these to um, one of those places. Probably the same place that I dropped off all my, <laughs> my t-shirts that I donated. Um, and I just ordered from Amazon a set of twin sheets and nut sheets and blankets and all that stuff. Um, because once the whole new bed storage goes in, I can't wedge things down the back of the bed too far because it starts to block the ventilation on the fridge that I have. But it's also going to be good now. Now I don't need to fuss with things that are just too big for the van. And that was just one of those little pains in the butts over the last few years that it just kind of dealt with. I'm like, well, because there was a lot of extra blanket. When you put a queen size blanket on a twin size bed, it's ridiculous. It's insane. So um, it's going to be nice to have that changed up. So I went on there and it's hard to buy things from Amazon, especially things that are material because you don't know what it feels like. And that's the worst part. So when I would go to Ikea, I always feel the blankets and stuff like that. Make sure the duvet, duvet cover feels good enough that it'll be on my skin at night. It'll feel good. So I ordered some stuff from Amazon, um, two blankets, two duvet covers, and I still stuck with like the gray and the black and the white theme. And uh, let's hope that they feel okay. The reviews looked kind of good. So fingers crossed on that one. So anyway, guys, I um, what I've done so far today when I wasn't filming is I started to go through a lot of my drawers. So this is like my pots, my pans, pretty simple, pretty basic. But what I'm trying to do is make better use of my space. So now that I'm sitting semi-static, it's giving me time to start going through things and realize what I do and don't need. Um, so yeah, I bought some of these little, what are they called? Canning jars, mason jars. Um, but they're really good for keeping some quick access dog food out here because right now my dog food, you got to unstrap the strap, pull it out, uh, pain the butt. So having them in here is really kind of great. I think I might go invest, my, invest in a couple more of these. Just got them from the dollar store. But yeah, they're great for keeping Cruz's treats quick on hand. And um, I may buy some of those things to start keeping some rices and some pastas in. They just fit really good in these bottom drawers. Like exactly perfect, perfect height. But yeah, I went through everything. I relined the bottom of my drawers again with uh, just some liner that I bought at the dollar store. Um, pretty simple. These things used to be ram packed, like when the pandemic kicked in, these things were rammed full of food. It's nice to get a bit of that weight out of these drawers. And uh, I don't know what else is in here. That's my sticker and business drawer. Nothing too exciting. This is the only messy drawer I've got. It's got all my stuff. <laughs> like everything from rice to pancake mix to sauces and everything else. Yeah, guys, I'm super stoked for all the stuff that's coming up. 
Um, Andy's on vacation right now, and when he gets back, we're going to be start. We're going to start going through this whole thing and kind of retouching up everything and making my van look super perfect, super pretty, and uh, hopefully maximizing on a bit more of my storage in here. So, uh, I need some water. Oh, see, <laughs> not quite standing up very straight. Takes me a little bit of a minute. Whew feel old. I just had my 46th birthday and I'm already having a hard time walking around. Oh Beating that summer heat in any possible way. <sighs> it's ridiculous out here, kids. Let me tell you. So, it's been pretty cool to be sitting around here because my only job right now, while the people at Ray Outfitted here are busy on other customers' vans, is to think about everything that I need to do to my van. Everything. And even Andy at Happy, Kit, Happy Camper Kit said the same thing. He's like, hey, I'm on vacation. Now's the time you need to think about anything you need done woodworking-wise on the inside of your van. Because when we get back, bro, it's go time. So, <laughs> I've been like drawing out my wish list all my dreams and everything that I've ever wanted to do to my van. I've been drawing it all out. And I think we're gonna be doing way more upgrades to my van than I thought when I was coming out here. So that's my plan for the rest of the next few days is to beat the heat, drink some beer, hang out with some friends and figure out all the upgrades that I would like to do. Oh, I should actually stop making videos today. Oh, I forget that guys when things are just so damn hot you just can't even function or think all I want to do right now is makeshift a pool and run water in it and I wonder if Rainer wants to build a pool with me today <laughs> you know how fun that would be they got a pickup truck here and if they got a tarp we'll just put the tarp in the back of the pickup truck and make a redneck pool hey that sounds good to me anyway guys <laughs> I just wanted to post something to you guys and if not there wouldn't have been no video or anything today I just wanted to share what's going on in my day and and uh, the next project that we're going to be doing on my channel like the next build piece is going to be my spare tire rack on my back door so Madison and them are going out to pick up my tire today my rim already came in and same with the spare tire holder it was shipped in from Illumines prior to me getting here so that will be the next actual project so whenever they got time to squeeze me in between some customers I'll be excited to get that on the back door and I think now that we've got the pretty tires there having the matching rim on the back door is gonna look mighty damn good okay I'm done talking thanks for listening to me yap if you made it this far you probably didn't make it this far I'm probably here talking all by myself and everybody's already clicked off that's okay. Thanks for watching my channel, you guys. I love you. We'll see you on the next one.